Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you the best Ethernet settings for gaming in 2024. So the first thing that you need to do is open up control panel. Inside of here, click on network and internet. Network and sharing center. And over here, on the left, you need to click on change adapter settings. Inside of here, you should see a list of the different network adapters that are available on your system. So click on the ethernet adapter and this should open up the ethernet properties. Inside of here, click on configure. First, open up power management and make sure that this box is unchecked. Once you uncheck this, press OK and then reopen the ethernet tab. Click on configure and then click on advanced. These are the settings that we are going to be modifying. So the first setting, which is ARP offload, we are going to disable that. We are going to disable flow control as well, as well as interrupt moderation. For the checksum offload, we're going to disable that as well. For the jumbo frame, you need to select the maximum value that you have. So in my case, it's this one. For the large send offloads, we are going to disable both of them. For the network address, we're going to leave that to not present. The NS offload, we're going to disable. The priority and VLAN, we're going to leave that to the default settings. For the receive buffers, what you need to do is enter a large value. So I'm going to enter this one right here, 1000, and then just press enter. And you should get this pop-up which says that the valid range is from the lowest value to the maximum value. So in my case, the maximum value is 512. It might be different for you. What you need to do is take this maximum value and enter this right here. So in my case, it's 5112. So I'm going to enter that. And that's it for this setting. Next, we are going to disable the RSC. For the speed and duplex, what you need to do is set this to the maximum value that you have along with full duplex. For the TCP checksum offload, we are going to leave them to the default settings. You can actually experiment with disabled, so you can try disabling both of these settings and see if that makes a positive difference for you. If it doesn't, you can always enable these back. Next, for the transmit buffers, what you need to do is again enter a really high value, press enter. And then once again, you should see the pop-up which says that the valid range is from the lowest value to 128, the maximum value. So just take the maximum value and enter it right here. So that's 128 for me. And that's the transmit buffers for us. And the other settings, the UDP checksum offload, you can experiment with these as well. So you can disable them and see if that makes a positive change in your connection. And you can always re-enable them if they don't seem to make a difference. The rest of the settings, we're going to leave them to their default values. And once you're done, press OK. And it should restart your Ethernet adapter. And once you're done, you need to close everything and restart your PC. Once you restart, all your settings should be applied. And you should get lower ping and latency in the games that you play. If you would like me to apply the custom resolution for you or do any other optimizations, you can hire me at the link below in the description. So that is pretty much it for this video. If it helped you out, make sure to drop a like and share this with your friends. You can also subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.